currently it's like my new thing to just come out on my porch really quickly and feel how cold it is so I can determine how much I need to layer up guys I feel so weird wearing all this color um, I saw this at Goodwill the other day this like it's like this 70s kind of blazer almost with a little bit of a bell sleeve then it flares out and I actually just left it there I thought it was cute but the line was too long for me to just wait for one item and I left it there and after hanging out with Anne and you know she wears so much color and I'm such a like muted tones type of girl I was like let me try to incorporate some color into my wardrobe and just like grab that piece really quickly so I actually went back around the corner to Goodwill and picked it up and I'm kind of happy with it because it gives such a 70s vibe Let's see if I can kind of show you guys my whole outfit I just have on an Enzo Acosta layering piece the one with the thumb holes love these because they're a cashmere blend so they actually keep you warm this is the jacket and then I have on the Farrah by AG per huge I'm about to head to work seems like it's a bit nippy out here so I'm gonna have to layer up more than I expected it's just a regular schmegular day I do have plans with an old co-worker after work we're supposed to grab some drinks but she's a tourist like me so low-key though hoping that she flakes on me because I have so much editing to do I've been slacking guys and you guys have been reminding me ever so kindly but if she doesn't flake I am going to go hang out with her because I'm turning over a new leaf I really want to focus on being a better friend I'm not flaking on people anymore like recently cultivating to my friendships has been more important to me than cultivating to a relationship I feel like friendship comes first and if I don't know how to be a good friend I'll definitely never know how to be a good companion so I want to work on that part of my personality stop being such a fucking loner let me go the fuck to work always always late always late yes new future drop today it must be a good day skip to my lunch break fork got to say that i'm in love with this jacket like it looks like vintage missoni like in love gotta love the sound of that I'm kind of blown though that I don't have ketchup because I like my mac and cheese with ketchup especially if it's not real mac and cheese. Aw oh, guys how cute. Look what my manager got me for being such a good team player. She got me like this little book bag. Those little lightweight ones that you can kind of like put your gym clothes or whatever in. And it has little cameras all over it. I want to go to Vogue and grab myself a hot chocolate. Let's cross our fingers that they have almond milk. Cause so often they don't and I have to walk out of there without hot chocolate and that's just a bummer. Almond milk. We do. It's got a little coconut in it. That's fine. An accident. I got an accident. That's okay. <laughs> We're gonna get. Wait. I'm just so relieved you have it today. <laughs> Are you doing that from here to go. Um, to go. Okay. And like I said, I'll have a teeny bit of coconut, but I think it'll be nice. Yeah, it might be yeah. a nice change. I tasted it this morning. I was like, damn it, when I got it. <laughs> This is literally the best hot chocolate. Like, they actually whip up the chocolate right there.
Okay guys, so I have spent this entire day off either cleaning or doing YouTube stuff. Let's just set you guys there. Since I'm always on the freaking floor. Oh look, I'm in the background, have I? So, I shot one hair video and two sponsored videos and I forget how time consuming that can be. The sun is coming down, that's why I hurried up and opened this camera now because I wanted to get some vlog footage for this day. Guys, I don't think I'm going to be doing unpaid sponsorships anymore. I never felt like I was that big, so I was always like happy with just like free product or you know, just to collab with certain brands that I love, but Time really is money and that used to annoy me so much when people used to say that, but like, it's the freaking truth. Oh, this light is on, so I don't usually look this good, trust me. Yeah, it used to really annoy me when people used to say that, but it's true, like my day is over, tomorrow I go back to work and, and that's it, that's a whole day. Especially when it comes to hair videos, I need to remember that because of the drying process with curly hair. If I don't get it right in that first shot, I'll have to do it all over again. And I need to process this, the amount of time that's going to take. And unfortunately, I'm probably gonna have to start charging. Other than that, I've been cleaning my house since Max is gone. Nah. I'm just like totally making it a bachelorette pad. Right now, I'm just making it functional. So like, well, obviously excuse the hair products on the floor because i was shooting a video because this is also going to be my shooting area so the ring light will go here but when max was here like my whole closet, this little nook was basically my closet but now that he's gone i can use his room for my closet so and of course usually this hair stuff is not going to be there and it's my yoga mat my yoga stuff my balance board um my medicine ball, my my foam rollers over there in the corner, like everything that I work out with. So that will inspire me to work out more often, which I have been slacking because of all the company that I live with. I mean, I'm not gonna do an apartment tour right now because I still feel like I have so much to do, but I'm just so happy that it feels functional, that I feel like I have a place to film, that I feel like I have a place to work out, that I feel like my clothes don't have to be all over the living room, they have a place, like, that is such a relief for me right now. With the exception of my father, who's always in and out. I owe him life, he raised me, he always has a place to crash with me, as I know I always have a place to crash with him, so. And honestly, I like that he comes in and out, it makes me feel safer. So you guys will be seeing what just went down soon in the final video, but I just did a video for MyHeritageDNA.com and I'm really excited about it because I've always wanted to know what percentage of each race I am. Guys, isn't this beautiful? Like, oh, it is 528 and I mean the sun is going down, but it's still light out and that is like beautiful. Then I wanna go to Rite Aid and see if I can find something that's sticky that I can hang fabric up with for when I am doing videos. Cause I just want it to always be ready. Cause I feel like if I have a setup where I could, where I could shoot videos all the time, I'll shoot them more often. That's my theory. Same with working out. If I have a setup where I can just work out all the time, I'll work out more often. There was something else that I needed to get from Rite Aid. What was it? Fuck. Then the rest of my night is gonna consist of editing. Oh, oh yeah, I wanted to get a face mask because I'm like breaking out in certain areas of my face. You guys probably can't tell, but I really wanna get back in the habit of washing the makeup off my face every night and just moisturizing, taking care of my skin. Which is another thing I feel like comes with my personal space being clean because honestly when you come home after a long day and your personal space is a wreck, you're just like, fuck it, I'm going to bed. Like, I don't care about anything else. 
just coming in from both Rite Aid and the grocery store. Just <laughs> didn't really feel like vlogging when I was out. 